Hey -o, everybody, Haku here with my read through for The Promised Neverland or Yaks Okino Neverland chapter 90, 91, 92, and 93 I think. I think this week I'm just going to be doing four chapters instead of stretching to five. I don't know though. Um, I'm going to record at least the first two now, but I might have to record the other two tomorrow and just splice this together as a Franken video. Um, because I'm not feeling so great, but if I can read all four now, I'll read all four now. We'll just have to see how things go. But, uh, yeah, last time we, uh, started off with the sort of real fight against Lewis, where all the others are dead, except today, yeah, yeah, because the guy killed, um, Noose, and Noose is dead. Um, so yeah, all that's left is Lewis, uh, Ray and the guy met up with Emma, and who else was helping Emma? Pepe showed up there. And, uh, Nigel, that's his name, I think. So they were all fighting against Lewis. They managed to knock his mask off, uh, but it didn't really help too much because he's OP as hell. And now I guess let's read and see if we get to the finale of what's going on here with this arc. Um, I think it should probably be ending soon. I don't know if it'll end this video or next video, though. Uh, but I'll go for four or five chapters. Not sure if I'll all... I, I will record them all in one setting, but this video will include them all. Um, so let's start with uh, chapter 90. Or 90, we have Pepe um, on the floor injured. Pepe, Pepe, we have to leave him here for now. Damn it, how? What kind of monster is this guy? Oh yeah, and he got injured by the mask fragments getting thrown at him, I think. Uh, dark despair looms over them. You tried all the tricks you could, says the guy. I just, I keep calling him the guy. I hate that we don't have a name. It makes things so difficult. What you gonna do now? How are you bringing him down? Man, I love the freaky look of uh, Lewis and the other demons. Bayonne, I think, had the coolest friggin' design. This is, okay, this is an, I love when we have these really good chapter cover pages. This one is good. Chapter 90, we got this. This is a good one. Man, that's haunting and so cool looking. It's great. Alright, let's move on. Okay? Well then, where are you hiding? And he starts listening. Think of something. I gotta do something, Nigel's thinking. If we just loaf around, or er, er, loaf around hiding, Pepe will end up dying. What's more, that monster must be recovering his senses. We met, or we finally managed to blow up the mask and to hit him with the flash bomb right to his face, and it actually worked, even. We're not getting another chance like this, not in a million years, and yet. And we have all four of them look at each other. Folks, we have to get back on our feet. Let's change position and try to shoot again. No point, says the guy. I already tried that before, but if everyone shoots together, so you figure you can kill him, do you? Do you? No, he thinks. <laughs> I don't think I have the slightest chance. We can't kill that thing. He's a monster. Okay. At this pace, it'll end up like... And the guy's thinking of uh, what happened to all of his friends. We gotta run. I've got no more cards to play. If you want to live, now's the only chance. While the senses are clouded, we gotta run the hell away from this place. Run away, Nigel thinks. Listen, Nigel, if things get to that point... Then it's time, he thinks. Emma? No. If we run away now, we won't save everybody. Everybody, says the guy. Oliver and Zach's group, Theo and the other kids, Nigel too, and Pepe. Ray, me, Lucas, and you. I will not let a single one die here. We're getting out of this park together. The hell are you saying, kid? You can't kill that. It's going to be a massacre. People are going to die no matter what you do. Cut your losses and save as many as you can now. It can be a massacre even if we run. If we try to run at this point, he can still track us. He'll come after us right away, and if he grabs us running, it's all over. Nigel, did er, did Lucas tell you about the worst case plan? Huh? Uh, yes. It's not time for that yet. Hold on for a bit longer. But... But what else can we do? We did everything. Everything. And... and Er, and even then, in the end, it was all for nothing, Emma. We still got more hands to play. I'm sure we, er, I'm sure we've got. But what exactly? Don't give up. Think. Something has to come. No chance. All you got is nothing. Not even time to think. Time's up, girl. 
You know that, don't you? There's our last chance. You throw it away, we won't have any hope. Not even of running away. Right. But if we run, once again you'll be sacrificing people to survive alone. You're afraid. I'm afraid too of that demon and of making the wrong choice. And then, er, and even then we don't. You too, er, you. And even then we don't. You too of all of us. We can't swallow any more sacrifices. Isn't that right? Right. And we got information here. We know it across to the human world. Today's the day we become free, all of us. No more living afraid, being hunted all the time. We can go to a place free of any demons. There are times when you just have to run, but not today. We got this. Let's beat him here and now and get out of here with everyone. This time it's different. This time. Shut up, and he slaps her. Little girl with antennas talking big. Got it. Emma, you, er, you the lead now. The English this chapter has been broken as all hell. You take the lead now, I guess they mean. Whoever was translating this one, don't know about him. What? And she smiles. Hey, mister, now's a good time to tell us you're, n you're a pain in the butt, you know. What's your name, mister? Cut it out. Beat Lewis and get us out of here. Then I'll tell you. She smiles. Ah, happy Emma. Happy antenna girl. Okay, but what are we actually going to do now? Emma's right. There's bound to be some strategy. When I was watching from the roof, I realized, no matter how fast and powerful he is, he's still just a living being, right? Okay. Shoot his core and he dies. Bullets can hurt him. And electricity, too. And his senses can be damaged. He's a living thing and he can be killed. He's big and strong and fast and can resurrect, but all those things have physical limits, how er, however exceptional they are. We can't let fear muddle our wits. Think about this with a cool head. I guarantee you there's some way to kill him, says Ray. Now that you mentioned it, says Emma. There is something that's been bothering me. What is it, Emma? Why did that demon, when he... Oh... And she sees the monkey watching them outside the window. The freaky one-eyed monkey with human ears and also kind of cat-like shape. Right? Oh, she says. It's just staring. Damn. And then it screeches. Okay. And then huge explosive attack. Lewis is like ridiculously strong. Now, where are you? And he climbs in through the wall. Emma. Man, his design is so cool and freaky. He he can see already. No, his side isn't back yet. The decisive battle, or the decisive battle comes. What is their plan? Everyone, let's go with that strategy. This time, we're putting an end to this. With this, we can beat him. Okay, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Let me grab some water before I continue. And we're starting off, uh, <clears throat> starting off 91 with some sort of uh, flashback because of the uh, black um, bars around it. Human beings long for happiness more than anything, but how curious. Seeds of tragedy sown by a demon. Okay, and we see uh, Lucas and that guy with their dead friends. It is in the depths of despair that they grow. Okay, moving along, threatened, pushed to the limit, face to face with pure desperation, the humans think and worry and calculate, and then they rise again, they evolve. Show it to me then, I have no interest in stupid cattle, grown stunted in a banal existence. Maybe you're a keeper. Okay, and that's uh, him and Oliver. I've been, er, I've been seeding the field for a long time now. Okay, so he's been breeding the strongest prey to go up against. But I suppose maturation takes patience. Not yet. No, this isn't quite it. What I want is... This. And he looks up. Man, I love this. The time has finally come. That's it. This is exactly what I love to hunt the most. These are the humans I crave to devour. 
I'm still somewhat unsteady, but I'm starting to see the va er, to see vague shapes again. This is good. This is great fun. More, more, give me more. So again, his own um, greed is going to be his downfall, which is great. And I love this uh, cover art once again. Put an end to this horror and stand up. Chapter 91 with everything we've got. I'm so excited. Now, where are you, Emma? She's hiding around the corner. Something's been bothering me. What is it, Emma? Why did that demon, when he lost his hand, take so long to regenerate it? Oh, says um, Ray, realizing something. Huh? Says Nigel. Nigel blasted his hand off. I mean, sure, it was a deep wound, but even then, Lewis only had it back, or had it back about the time he blew up the house, right? I kind of assumed that their regeneration was a natural, unconscious process, but now it seems like it has to be done consciously, and in that case, the regeneration probably has some sort of handicap. Handicap? What do you mean? For example, there may be a limit to what they can recover or how many times they can do it. Maybe regeneration consumes a high amount of energy, something like that. Which would make logical sense, you can't just regenerate something from nothing. It's the same for us, right? There's a limit to the quantity of cellular division the human body can undergo. You, or, you know, the Hayflick limit. That's why older people seem to take longer to recover. Older, right. Luce seemed to regenerate on the spot just like that. Lewis, on the other hand, good thing you did that, mister. It was the correct choice. We'll keep blasting holes into him. We don't know when he'll recover his senses, so while the flash explosion still lingers, to shoot him all over. The eye's the obvious choice, but even if you can't hit the eye, keep shooting. The more he's wounded, the better. He's still dazed, so make good use of this opening. I love this. And he uh, has to go down a hallway to get to Emma, so he's pretty much trapped staying still while she shoots at him. She's just spraying. And then as she dodges, Ray comes up and is shooting from a table. Alright. Emma, run. And he kicks the table toward him. But he just swats it away. Cutting it in half, even. But he's still getting hit all over. Now Nigel's firing. Three so far. The flash bomb worked better than I thought, thinks Ray. And yet, he's clearly already recovering his sight. And then he slices through the gun. Ah, oh, no, is he gonna get Nigel? Or is the guy gonna save him? Oh, no. His arm. He can't catch bullets yet. Emma hits his arm. It's fine. It's now or never. A tight interior terrain like this works best for us humans. We still have ammunition and guns. Plenty of both. We've stocked the entire town with them to use in the original plan. Just grab all of those and don't hold back. And now we see him trying to, uh... We see Lewis trying to recover, it looks like. And they're all just still spraying him. This is an interesting panel. This, like, fisheye shot of the hallway. Okay, and they're still just spraying him full of bullet holes. Hit him with everything we've got. Okay. They've changed their approach, he thinks. And they're not aiming f er, And they're not aiming for my eye only. They've begun shooting all over. On purpose. Have they already realized the limitations to my regenerative abilities? If so, bravo. Again, er, again well done. Mayhaps that flash bomb suggests that er, they know about our optic nerves and how they're the slowest tissue to recover. Okay, that explains why it's taken so long to get his uh, vision back. Be that as it may, at this point this has proven to be a little bit of a trouble spot. Okay, and I think he's going to try to take the building down. Oh no, he's just busting a hole so we can go outside. Let's go outside for a while and in your dreams, asshole. And the guy is waiting on the roof. The uh, monkey cat thing reacts. The fourth one. And then uh, he jumps as if to dodge. We can still get him. Every shot counts. And they're spraying toward his back. Don't fret, Parvis. Now we've brought all of them outside. From their steps. From the direction of the shots. I've al already managed to pinpoint all four. Now it's my turn to... And then, what is this? A chunk of building is falling. 
What was that? What did I just... A new challenger joins the field. Yo! Freaking Adam. 22194. And he's just repeating it. Freaking Adam. Oh, the hype. I hope I'm not wrong and I'm getting his name wrong, but I'm pretty certain it was Adam. Oh, my hype. Oh, I'm ready for this. Okay, let me get some water before I move to 92, and I might need to save things. I can't stop reading now, though. I need to know how this ends. Yeah, hang on. Let me save this and take a jump cut really quick. Okay, let's go. Chapter 92. In this hour of need, the one who came is... What now? What's the meaning of this? 22194. Did he just throw a chunk of house? Just what is that guy, says Ray. Adam. Do it, Adam. Destroy this damn monster. And then we have, uh, it looks like Violet yelling because of the, um, band-aid on her cheek. I'm pretty sure that's who had that. Okay. And then he reacts. Yo! Chapter 92, Beat Down. Adam's incredible strength exceeds all expectations, and he just punches his ass. Or at his ass or something, but he's sent flying either way. I'm I'm in the air from a punch. A human did this to me? He actually broke my arm. Two, two, I see. Now that I think about it, that's the experimental produce that Bayonne got from the new farm, Lambda. Adam, that was amazing. And you... And then Violet runs out. You came too, Violet. Now, come on. Take this opening. Shoot, shoot. In the air, there's no escape. This is bad. And they're all just spraying him. And he still lands and nothing hit his eye. He still lands on the ground on all fours. Ray shooting and he seems to dodge to the side. After all that, he's still dodging. Emma, and then Violet yells out, found Adam on the way. How's the flash bomb? It worked, but it's already er, but it's wearing off already. Shoot him, not just the eye, shoot him all over. Even if you hit his body, that demon still takes damage. Okay. Got it. Adam, throw everything at him. And Adam just throwing chunks of building. Ah, oh, this is great. But, er, um, Lewis is dodging. That confirms it. They've already realized how much my regeneration is degraded. This is getting tricky. Seems like I'm showing my age. Getting old truly is a vexing thing. Okay, so it is an age-based thing. Is why he can't regenerate himself as quickly. But that's how it is. And anyway. After that electrocution, I regrew all the cells in my body. After the flash bomb, my optic nerves, the bullet holes, the gunshots that blew up my hand, and now, this broken arm. I'm regenerating everything. It's been a while since I've had to move like this, too. I suppose I went into er, into too many a frenzy in my younger days, and now I pay the price. Is that supposed to be him when he was younger? He w Instead of being white-colored, he was uh, black like Noose and Numa. So I wonder if um, when they're young, the demons start out with a darker color, and they get lighter as they age, maybe. Okay. And yet. And yet. How can I put it? It's been countless centuries since I felt this much joy, but... I'm not the one who's losing, you know? And then it looks like he starts to run. Before he recovers his sight. That's our only strategy. If we miss this chance, we're gone. Er, we're goners. But if I can endure it a while longer, I win. Press on, Emma's yelling. Er, and Emma is yelling, but he sees press on. It's working. It's clearly hurting him. But it just isn't enough. More, more, keep shooting. Gotta push him over the line. No, you won't. On he goes after Violet. And Emma pulls another grenade and throws it in front of him. But this time he gets his hand up to try to block the light. Just from the sound of the pin, she thinks. I won't fall for the same trick again. But then he gets hit in the arm by Ray. Okay. But you dropped your guard against the rest of us. That was indeed. Oh, and his jaw gets shot. Probably from the guy from the roof from that angle. Yeah, hit him in the jaw. And now we see um, 
Adam holding one of the pillars with the lanterns on it and throwing it toward him. Or after throwing a chunk of building as well. And Parvis is screeching. Not very creative, are you, Adam? I suppose it's still hard for you to deal with complex thoughts or actions. Now look well. I'm sure that there are two of them right this way. Oh, and he's trying to get Adam to throw the uh, chunk of building. And Nigel and um, Violet have to dodge it. Get away. All right. Oh, when he's starting to see Adam's uh, silhouette and everybody else is behind him. And then he hits him in the gut, it looks like, and sends him flying into the building that uh, the man's standing on. He loses his footing. Adam, mister. That demon, thinks Ray. He's almost recovered his sense of sight now. Now's our last chance. Shoot now, finish him. And Ray's yelling. They're all starting to spray. Ah, oh, shit. And he pierces Emma from behind. I, Emma's the main character. She cannot die. But still. What's going to happen? He stabs her from behind. Oh. Too bad, but time's up. And then they scream Emma. She is the main character. She cannot die. Desperate screams. Or er, a desperate scream pierces the skies. That was 92. I cannot end on this cliffhanger. I'm saving again, and then I'm reading the next one. My battery is running desperately low, but I'm going to try to push through at least this one last one. Even if I don't read uh, five chapters this week and I just do the normal four. I could only curse this life that they threw me into. And we have uh, Ray. But the time I got to be with those two was, it was pure joy. To me, they matter more than anyone. It's only thanks to them that I, that I, and he's starting to run toward her. Save her, Ray. Piercing all hope, like popping a bubble. Oh, and we have that scene recreated for this um, cover page. And she's bleeding. We see everyone's reactions. Emma. Thank you. You were wonderful. And they all raise their guns. You. All of you. You've earned my utmost respect. And then Ray's charging in, shooting, but he catches all the bullets. Emma, Emma, don't you die here. Get up. Come on, move. Emma, where am I? She's thinking. It's so cold. It's so dark and cold. I feel my blood draining away. The wound is the only warm thing. It hurts. I can't move. My body feels heavy. I just want to sleep. Who's there? Walter, Annie, Dinah. Okay. Walter, Annie, and Dinah. Mr. Lucas? I'll never back down. I want to end this place. Oliver, Paula, Zach. No, no, stop. Help. And we see um, Gillian losing her friends. Same with um, Violet and Theo. I hate them. I hate them. And we see everybody else. That was it. I have to get up. I have to defeat Lewis. Emma, I have to go back to my... Oh, I'm getting feelsy. I have to go back to my family. And she thinks of everybody left at B0632. Emma, Phil's waiting for me with the little kids. How pathetic of you, dumb girl. There's so much work so much work left to do and she thinks of Crone get up move no come back move I don't want this I don't want to die I can't afford to die here there's no way I can die like this she thinks of Norman nor huh, what good girl Emma you can't give up and Isabella reaches out for mama come on now there you go you still have not. I still haven't. And she stands up. Brought to life my future. Emma. And they all see her and she pulls out the uh, four-barreled gun that she took from way back at the place. This is the gun that I chose back in the shelter. You're right, Norman. If we do that. But I, er, but I can't speak. I can barely even stand up. How do I tell them? Surround him now. This is our last chance. Hit him with all you have left. 
Ray, she thinks. Good. That's good. Good. And she shoots. Erd, they're all spraying toward him from all sides. This isn't a challenge. I can block all that. So, we come to an end. I will miss you. What's that strange bullet? Oh, and she fired. Emma, what manner of gun is that? No, it can't be. This is bad. That ammunition's probably... And it starts to break apart. And we just have a page of plain white? What? Oh, they got me. This is some other variety of flash bomb. I took too long to realize. By the time I could react, the explosion had already set off. If I close my eyes, I'll just get shot. And if I don't, I'll be blinded and then shot. Further, at this point, I'm already quite exhausted. I'm, unli I'm unlikely to be able to regenerate from another assault like that, which means... And we see the bullets all flying towards him. And he gets shot all over. I've lost. I expected nothing less from humankind. Man. And then we see the bullet going through his eye. And it's so, so poetic that the man did it after he had killed his friends. All the pain comes down into this shot. I'm cool ending the video here. Oh man, that was so good. That was, that's a good way to end it. Man, Lewis is dead. Now we're going to get to see next time reading is probably going to be the fallout from what's going on in this arc. And then the read through after that, I assume, is when they'll finally get back to Gilda and the others. But holy shit, this chapter was probably one of the most emotional I've read in the series. This is so good. This is one of my favorite chapters now. I loved all the people that Emma saw in her flashback. Oh, so good. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end it here before my battery runs out and I lose this or anything. Like, if you did like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of these four chapters, what you thought of my first thoughts and reaction. Uh, subscribe for more. Promise Neverland, both anime and manga. The anime just ended and it was amazing. Uh, and I'm excited for season two coming next year. And I'm also excited for trying to catch up to this. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel or talk to you there. And if you want to link to our Discord server to talk to me or more of us on Discord about this series or anything else, just ask and I can give you a link. That's it. Thank you once again for watching and I'll see you all next time.